Boolean values. Boolean values. So what about Boolean values? It's often useful to have a value that discriminates between only two possibilities, like yes and no, or on and off. And for this purpose, JavaScript has a Boolean type, by the way, which has just two values, and true and false, and which are written as those words. And what about compression? Compression. Compression now. Here is one way to produce Boolean values, like this example now, console.log, console.log, open parentheses, 3, greater than 2, yes, it's actually true result now, console.log, 3, greater than 2, the result is true now, and console.log, open parentheses, 3, less than 2, its result is false, actually, it's really false, and the greater than and less than signs are the traditional symbols for is greater than and is less than, respectively. And they are binary operators, by the way, and applying them results in a Boolean value that indicates whether they hold true in this case. And the strings can be compared in the same way, like this example again, console.log, open parentheses, then write, aardvark, aardvark, greater than, Sorry, less than the rest of the rest of between double quotation. This is true. And the way strings are ordered in is roughly, roughly alphabetic, but not really. Not really what you would expect to see in a uh, dictionary. And uppercase letters are always less than lowercase ones, so that less than A. And non alphabetic characters and minor symbol and so on, and are also included in the ordering when comparing strings. JavaScript goes over the characters from left to right, and comparing the Unicode codes one by one, one by one only, and other similar operators, by the way, are greater than or equal, greater than or equal, yes, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to, and not equal to, okay. So console.log, open parentheses, etchy, between double quotation, then not equal to scratchy, not equal to scratchy, yes. Okay, so it's a true, true result, really, true result here, between double quotation and console.log, open parentheses, apple, apple, okay, so apple, uh, apple will be equal to orange, it's false, because it's apple not equal to orange only. Okay, anyway, it will be false result. Okay, there is only one value in JavaScript that is not equal to itself, and that is nan, and not a number, by the way. And console.log, nan not, sorry, nan equal to nan, it's false. Nan is supposed to denote, denote the result of a non, non-sensual computation. Non-sensual computations, yes, already. Okay, so, and as such, it isn't equal to the result of any other non-sensual computations. So what about the logic operations, operators, the logic operators? There are also some operations that can be applied to Boolean values themselves, and JavaScript supports the three logical operators, and or and not, and this can be used to reason about booleans, and the AND operator represents logical AND, it's a binary operator by the way, and its result is true, only if both the values given to it are true, like this next example, console.log, open parentheses, true and false, will be false, result will be false here now, okay, so console.log, True and true will be true res results will be true here now. Okay, so the concatenate operator, the concatenate operator, do you notice logical or it produces true if either of the values give to it is true. Like this example, console.log, false concatenate true will be true res result here. Console.log, false concatenate false, the result will be false. Not is written as an exclamation mark, and it's um, a an unary, unary operator that flips the value given to. True produces false, and false gives true, 
and when mixing these pooling operators with arithmetic and other operators by the way it's not always obvious when parentheses are needed and in practice you can usually get with knowing with knowing that of the operators we have seen so far concatenates as the lowest precedence then comes and then the comparison operators greater than or equal equal or equal to the lowest precedence okay equal to and so on and then the rest of this order has been chosen such that in typical expressions like the following one as few parentheses as possible uh, are necessary like this example now one plus one equal 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 two and ten multiply ten greater than 50 and the last logical operator I will discuss is not unary and not binary and but ternary and uh, operating on three values by the way and it's written with with a question mark and a colon like this console.log open parentheses true one and two and will be one and console.log false and this one is called the conditional operator or something or, or sometimes just the ternary operators since it's it is the only such operator in the language and the value the value on the left of the question mark because which of the other two values will come out and when it's true it it, it chooses the middle value and when it's false it chooses the value on the right